Developing right now, the U.S. Supreme Court is hearing arguments about access to the abortion pill Mifepristone. It is one of the most widely used abortion pills in the U.S. The high court is looking at whether the FDA legally made it easier for people to use and access the drug. And it drew big crowds outside the high court with at least three, 13 people arrested so far. ABC's Perry Russum reports from Washington, D.C. Today, the Supreme Court hearing arguments over access to one of the most widely used abortion medications in the United States, Mifepristone. Justices are not considering a ban on the pill, but how it can be used and how easy it is to get. The Food and Drug Administration is being sued by Alliance for Hippocratic Medicine, an anti-abortion group accusing the FDA of unlawfully easing restriction. FDA's outsourcing of abortion drug harm to respondent doctors forces them to choose between helping a woman with a life-threatening condition and violating their conscience. The FDA approved Mifepristone nearly 25 years ago, making regulatory changes years later, allowing it to be used up to 10 weeks of pregnancy instead of seven, and allowing it to be prescribed by mail. The FDA says Mifepristone is safe when used as indicated and directed, with serious side effects exceedingly rare. Rolling back FDA's changes would unnecessarily restrict access to Mifepristone with no safety justification. Legal experts say this is the first time a court has second-guessed an FDA-approved drug. The case is expected to have wide-ranging implications as the percentage of medication abortions grew to 63% last year. The outcome could sharply limit access to abortion nationwide, even in states that allow it. FDA, do your job! FDA, do your job! Demonstrators on both sides gathering outside the Supreme Court this morning as the White House defends access to the medication. Well, Mifeprestone has proven to be safe and effective as a medicine for abortion and miscarriage care for over 20 years. There will be no decision today. Only arguments are being heard. We are expecting a decision from the Supreme Court by the end of June.